Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Joshua McDonald, and in today's video, we're gonna be comparing the Cadillac Lyric Sport to the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS. Now, before we get started with the video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe down below, and if you guys are in the market for a new or used vehicle, check out the links in the description or in the pinned comment. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, we'll start off with the Lyric Sport. So up front here, we have a very beautiful front end on this vehicle. So you can see we have the Cadillac logo here in the center. We also do have all of these light effects up here. You can see your turn signals right here. You also do have these lights that come down. When you're charging the vehicle, it'll let you know how charged it is. So 0% will be all the way down here. 100% will be all the way up here as well. During the night, this whole front grille will light up but really nice appearance on the front of the Cadillac Lyric. We also do have the key for it. So this is the Cadillac key. You have your lock, unlock, remote start, tailgate, and panic button features up here. Moving to the side of the vehicle, we have Michelin tires on this one. These are 265 5020s. Same size up front as they are in the back. These are absolutely beautiful wheels with these kind of chrome accents going all the way around. Gives it a really premium feel. Also on the side, we do have these unique door handles. So when the vehicle is unlocked, they will pop out so you can open up the door. And if you lock it back, they will go back inside. So I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. Just like that, they'll pop back in. And if you unlock it, they'll pop back out. The way you open it is you just pull on the door handle and she'll open right up for you. Moving to the back, we have a ton of cargo space back here and we have a lot of beautiful lighting elements. So as you can see here, we have our lights up here. You do have lights down here as well gives it a really unique appearance at night you also do have a power tailgate that you can open up with the key or with the button below the hatch if you take a look inside we have plenty of cargo space inside of there and if you lift up on this mat you have some more underneath as well with all of your chargers and everything from the factory you can also fold down these seats if you need extra room they power down just like that and you have plenty of space back there you will have to go back in the second row and put them back up manually. To close the tailgate, you can push the button or use the key. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second row. Let's go ahead and put these seats back up for you guys. And I'll hop inside and show you the space. So, back here in the second row, it's really comfortable back here. We also do have a lot of unique features inside this vehicle. So as you can see, I have storage behind the passenger and driver's side. I have two AC vents back here. I have all of my phone hookups and I do have a three prong outlet. We do have a lot of premium accents inside of here. You can see the stainless steel all the way around gives it a really beautiful interior look. Full leather seating surfaces back here, as you can see. And we do have this nice moon roof above us, but plenty of leg room back here, plenty of headroom, no complaints there whatsoever. All right, so inside the driver's seat, I have a ton of space up here. We also do have some beautiful elements on the door. You can see I have all of my seat adjustments right here on the door as well. We have heated and cooled seats. You also do have massaging seats as well. Have all of my window controls and the way you open up the doors with this little door handle right here. But taking a look inside, I have this beautiful touchscreen that goes all the way across. As you can see there, I can see my range. I can see everything like that. This does have a push button start, so I can go ahead and start it up and she'll come to life. You'll also notice I do have the Super Cruise, so any compatible road, this vehicle will completely drive itself. You also do have the regenerative braking, heated steering wheel, cruise control, all of those elements as well. But absolutely beautiful interior on this vehicle. We have a floating center console and we have tons of stuff inside this touchscreen. So we have our audio, Google Maps, we have our 360 cameras, as you can see there. But the inside of this vehicle is absolutely gorgeous. I also do have my shifter, so we can pull up for reverse, pull back for neutral, and then pull down for drive. If you want to put it back in park, you can just push this P, and I can go ahead and open up this moonroof. So, as you see there, this opens all the way up. On this vehicle, it's just a glass roof, so this vehicle does not open up like a sunroof. But that gives you a really nice open air feel. We have these beautiful seats up front. We have a blue pipe stitch down the middle, but absolutely gorgeous interior. But what we'll do now is go over to the Blazer EV RS. All right, so here we have the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS. 
Up front, we have these beautiful lighting elements, as you can see here. This light will move all the way across and it'll go towards the center where you have an illuminated Chevrolet bow tie. You also do have your RS badging up front. You do have these slits right up here in the front for cooling the battery. But if we move to this side, we have these beautiful 21 inch wheels. So on the RS, you're gonna have 275, 45, 21s on this vehicle. Gives it a really nice sporty appearance. Moving to the side, we just have our regular door handles so you can open up the vehicle and you do have the button right here so you can lock or unlock the vehicle that way as well. Moving to the back, we have a power tailgate on this vehicle as well. If we open that up, we have pretty much the same room that the Cadillac Lyric has. Very similar, we just don't have the power down um, second row, but you can put them down with these buttons on the side if you need extra storage space. So that's how much space you have with the seats down. You also do have the same storage underneath as well. So both of these vehicles are built on the same platform, as you can see there. The tailgate will also go back down power. But on the back side, we do have our black Chevrolet bow tie. We have our RS badging. This one is an all-wheel drive, so you're going to have the all-wheel drive badging. And you have your blazer badging to the left. These taillights are pretty cool because they go out into the rear fender, as you can see there. And we also do have our parking sensors in the back, so that'll beep at you if you get close to an object. But moving to the second row, let's go ahead and put these seats back up and we'll take a look at the space. So as you can see here, this one is black with adrenaline red accents. So it gives it a really cool sporty appearance. We have red on the doors. We have these nice touches all the way around and we do have these full leather wrapped seats. Taking a look at the second row, I have storage behind the driver and passenger side. I have these really cool AC vents, as you can see there, two USB-Cs, and I do have heated seats in the second row. But these seats are super comfortable to sit in. I kind of have this suede going down the middle, full leather all the way around, and I do have an armrest with cup holders as well. No moonroof on this one, but it is an option that you can get from the factory for $1,500. Let's go ahead and take a look up front. So, up front on this vehicle, we have plenty of room. If we take a look inside, we have those same accents on the doors. You also do have memory seats, and you can fold the mirrors in with this button right here. But taking a deeper look inside, this vehicle does not have a start button, as you can see here. So, if you want to start the vehicle, all you have to do is have the key in your pocket and close the door. So, as you can see, it just cut on. But I have this really sporty steering wheel with the RS badging in the middle. We have our cruise control. No super cruise on this one. We have the same shifter that's in the Cadillac Lyric, and we do have our regenerative braking. Really cool accents inside of here. I'm a big fan of these AC vents. Gives it a really futuristic look. And we also do have some settings here on the screen. So we have a different screen layout than the Cadillac Lyric. You can power off your vehicle from the menu right here. You have your regenerative braking with your one pedal driving, and you can also keep your vehicle on for 60 minutes. You also do have different drive modes in this vehicle. So you have sport, normal, snow and ice, and my mode, which is a completely customizable mode. But really cool interior on this vehicle. I'm a big fan of the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS. Looks super cool inside of here. And I do have a wireless charger in the middle and my center console. But that's it for the inside and outside of these vehicles. Let's take a look at some of the specs. All right, so on the 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV RS, we have our charge port on the side. The way you open that up is you push this little button right here and it'll open right up for you just like a transformer. We have our level two charger right there and we do have DC fast charging as well. The way you close this up is there's a little button right here. If you push that, it'll close up that whole charge door for you. Now this one's the all wheel drive version. So we're gonna have 279 miles of range. As you can see there on the window sticker, the base price for the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS is 56.2. This one has all these options on it. So the total price of this one is 60,215. Now, if we move over to the Lyric, we have that same charge door set up. So the way you open that up is you push the Cadillac crest, just like that, and it'll open right up for you. Now we have the same level two and DC fast charging inside of there as well. If you wanna close that up, you can just push this button and it'll close right up for you. Now, moving to the window sticker, this one's an all wheel drive version as well but we have 314 miles of range. This one is the Lyric Sport 2, so the base price of this vehicle is 66,095. This one has all of these options on it, so total price of this one is 68,115. 
So that's a quick comparison between the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS and the Cadillac Lyric Sport. All right, guys, so that's a comparison between the Lyric Sport and the Chevrolet Blazer EV RS. Let me know down in the comments below which one would you guys pick. Now, keep in mind, both of these have a $7,500 off tax rebate from the government if you qualify for it. So that helps lower down the sticker a little bit, but I appreciate you guys watching until the very end. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below for more car content. Also, if you guys are in the market for a new or used vehicle and want to get the absolute best pricing, check out the links in the description or in the pinned comment. But that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.